Bonjour tout le monde, en direct de Le Web à Paris. J'ai la chance d'être avec Fred Cavaza et Jérémia Hawaiian. Nous allons parler des médias sociaux. Fred est le spécialiste des médias sociaux pour la France. Humblement, euh, je suis un petit peu intéressante pour le Canada. Et Jérémia est la star mondiale des médias sociaux. Hi Jérémia, welcome to Paris. Thank you for having me. I just got in a few hours. I'm so glad to be here. And uh, obviously we're going to get straight to the matter of the fact. Oh. Uh, social media, uh, you uh, are pretty much uh, worldwide uh, seeing what is happening. Uh, you told me that you believe in Canada. We're getting a bit ahead. How far back are we from the States and in <laughs> France? Are they up uh, to date with uh, what is you know, happening? Honestly, I would give you straight data because I could cut the data had I known that in advance. But I'm, uh, I could actually go through my surveys. But I'm going to bet that, that Canada is not that far behind the United States when it comes to adoption. The cultures are very similar. Uh, so I, I don't think that it's far behind at all. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, social media, in my point of view, uh, obviously is part of the web. And uh, from what I have seen, uh, I believe that uh, the web should be a traditional business function such as finance, IT, uh, communication, but a lot of companies put the web and social media under a specific uh, traditional function. Which function should they put that under? Okay, so that's a two-tiered question. Uh, so the first part is, uh, wh where is it now and where should it be? Yes. So right now, the majority of, of departments, and please chime in, okay, um, it's 70% it's in marketing or corporate communications according to the surveys that we ran in Q4 2010 last year. So it is in marketing now because marketing and corporate communications have been disrupted. That's why. But the, the, the fundamental question you're asking is where should it be? And it's yes. basically like saying, and I think we could also look as where is the email department today? Yes. The email yes. department is everywhere because everybody's issued an email account. Exactly. Everybody uses communication. So we're just a few years away before you get hired into a company and they issue an email account with Microsoft Outlook or Gmail and a social media account that you can run your different social media accounts. Okay, so uh, right now in 2011 and 2020 also, the big question in a French company is what's next? Because they all have set up uh, a Facebook account, a Twitter account, and try to do um, smart social marketing things. And now they want to go further. So what should be the smoothest way to go further than social marketing, which is social CRM, even social business? Okay. Is it a matter of organization? Is it a matter of tools? Is it a matter of culture? What's the smoothest way to go to the next level? So we're measuring that. And my focus is on the world's largest corporations, global mm. corporations. French corporations are included as well, uh, European corporations. And what we do is look at adoption of these tools as they go through the different departments. And right now, we already agreed that marketing is the lead. The second group that we're seeing right now is uh, uh, sometimes HR, but often the support organization, customer support, customer service. Then we see that the product team is getting involved and they want to improve products based upon what customers are saying. And the, and the fourth group sometimes we see is uh, supply chain. So how will you use this with your partners? Supply chain. Yeah, supply chain, right? So, uh, you know, Renault has uh, dealers. So the dealers sell the cars on their okay. behalf so that it flows through that particular space. So that's the adoption that I tend to see in general. Uh, but you can look at this from a, no, a, a number of ways throughout the departments. Uh, another trend to look at is a, the technology trend. So right, right now we're starting to see companies want to integrate social into their corporate website. Mm. We see they want to integrate it into their existing customer databases like their CRM system. Uh, so these are all precursors of how it will come together. You know, I think Loic did a fantastic job with the theme of this event. He actually he asked a group of us, hey, what's the theme for this year? And I think Solo Mo actually does kind of line that up as all of these different types of data and mediums come together. Mm. But the one thing, and I'm going to talk about this on my, on my keynote tomorrow, the important thing is all of that data just helps companies to be predictive, the predictive business, because you know who Michelle is, where Michelle is at, and what device and how to reach uh, her. So this is the whole point on trying to connect all this data, the predictive business. So this is the next big thing, prediction. And maybe this is why eBay have just bought Hunch Could be. I mean, that's Could part be. of that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, about social scoring, did you check your cloud score recently? <laughs> <coughs> Maybe. <laughs> yes, I have been. Um, I've noticed there's been a lot of changes. I've been watching as they've integrated Google+. Mm. Uh, cloud has its um, benefits and disadvantages, right? So it, I wrote a post. It shows that Kenneth Cole's cloud score went up when he was getting trashed. Remember when he did that thing with the Egypt tweets? Uh, because there was so much engagement, but it was all negative content. So it's not perfect, but it's 
probably the most dominant one out there. Um, but nobody should rely on that score alone. Uh, I saw in one of your presentation on SlideShare that yes. uh, Gatorade has a permanent uh, four people staff uh, to monitor social media. Uh -huh. uh, but maybe they are the, the ones since you took them as an example that use the most uh, monitoring technology. Uh, what is the uh, monitorization of companies uh, in your point of view right now? Okay, so I actually saw um, a new command center, one at Salesforce headquarters in San Francisco two days ago. I went to go visit Jamie Grant. Hey, Jamie, and his team, Kendall, and, and they have a system and they're, and they're listening to what's being said during business hours and then they're going to open up one here, I think in London or Paris, I forget where, uh, to, to, to track the conversations. Now, overall, these systems, we're only seeing them in companies that are selling social stuff, and like Radiant 6, Dell, Gatorade, and Pizza Hut did it for one day. Is there Pizza Hut out here? Uh, it is in Canada. Okay, <laughs> it's in Canada. <laughs> All right, so uh, overall, we're not seeing heavy adoption of this, and in some cases, there's criticism that this is just um, a marketing push, a PR push to sell their products. Because you know, in the Dell command center, guess which products they're using? It's not HPs. Yes. Yes. So your question was around monetization of that? The surveillance, the surveillance of the web, you know, uh, 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 mentoring. Uh, uh, monitoring. I yeah, monitoring. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, that is the um, when it comes to social software, brand monitoring, brand monitoring software has the highest adoption in corporations. It's like at ninety percent level. Of, last time I checked my stats, yes. it's very high. Yes. Yeah, it is. But and uh, what do they monitor? Brand or? Uh, do they uh, widen the scope to uh, include the competition? Yes. Uh, or products or people within the organization, maybe. Uh -huh. And product, and product set, and pain point, and influencers. I mean, they're measuring a lot of different things. And it really depends on the corporation. And a final question. Uh, f final qu question. Uh, you know, you talked about email. Email is everywhere. And obviously, uh, this leads to uh, ROI. Uh, when people talk about social media, they always ask uh, where the buck stop. And obviously, such as a phone, uh, you you know, it's sometimes hard to uh, uh, measure uh, the uh, ROI of your phone system. So social media, what is the ROI, big, uh, uh, okay. big, big thing that, right. uh, that so, going to make the people... Sure. So the flip answer is, oh, you can't measure it because it's engagement, or the flip answer is how do you measure your web or your advertising? Yes. That's not good enough. That's not a good enough answer when, when I talk to executives. So we actually have these formulas that we pull up. What's the return on? Uh, you, you look through the market, the customer life cycle. Can you improve awareness, consideration, intent? Uh, or there's players like Bizarre Voice that put social recommendations right at the point of purchase. You can actually track, the, 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 did they come through the customer funnel very quickly? Uh, power reviews is another one at that level. You can also track support. Did you respond to customers faster? Do they have a higher net promoter score? So <clears throat> when it comes back to this, social metrics don't matter. It's, go it's got to go back to the business engagement metrics. Yes. In fact, fans and followers is a horrible way to measure success. So you have to, you have to measure exactly what have you done with these tools. Yes, so this leads back to marketing. Do we sell or didn't we sell our services with social media? It's only, marketing is only part of it. The yes. thing is, this is a tool set that the entire company and customers and yes. partners can use. Yes. So we won't be having this conversation around ROI in three, four, five years now. The adoption will be everywhere. And yes. we'll be talking about the next tool set. And don't ask me what it is. I don't know. Yeah, but well, maybe the next tool set will be uh, the Evan uh, Lee uh, social CRM. Have you seen social Perhaps. CRM uh, working? Uh... It's beginning. Right now, with Salesforce, among others. But it's beginning. We're seeing some of that. Uh, you don't see people using that term as much. I mean, I glommed into that, onto that term, but when I did uh, the surveys on adoption, people aren't using that term at this time. Mm. But yes, that goes back to just the general integration of social data with existing customer databases. And by the way, the last thing on that, the primary key still is email. People still tie back to the email record. So. Thank you so much. It's been My a pleasure. pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you, very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you Jamia. My pleasure. And I have an excellent speech tomorrow. We'll be listening. <laughs>